there's that brilliant moment in red pointing where you, you first realize that you can do it and you kind of you're trying to route and you're not doing that well in it and then you you, you do a big link or something and you suddenly think oh i can do this now excellent and then after about half an hour you just like sick with fear because every go up you think oh, it might be this going why is this going and then you fail again and then you just like and then after I've been red pointing on it for like, I don't know, eight months or something, I just get to the point where I like, oh, I just don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is the draw? Uh, oh, there isn't one. <laughs> are, are you an egomaniac? <laughs> and you definitely get a kick out of being good at climbing. So there's definitely an element of ego in it, but it wouldn't, you wouldn't keep coming back if it was just ego. But... I'm baffled what other motivation there could possibly be. <laughs> Might go in a minute. If that's all right. Looks like I've been on this route for about three years now, on and off. And last winter, I got to the point where I was getting to the last move and then I fell off the last move again and again and again and then tweaked my finger. Hopefully this time when I get up to the top I'm just going to have a little bit more in me. Do you think it's mental? Game on. Sometimes it's mental but I reckon when you've done 15 hard moves and you're getting to a crappy mono that I can barely hold anyway, there's got to be a fair element of fitness involved in there I thought. Uh, you got to think that every time you go up it's going to be different, haven't you? Or you go mad. Come on, Steve. Yeah, no, ah! Yes! Ah! You fucking beauty. Yes! Oh. Oh, fantastic. Just felt so good that time. So happy. So happy.